हेलो नमस्कार तो नाउ फ्रॉम टूडे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द मैथ्स वन ओके बिफोर वी गो फर्दर इट्स अ स्मॉल रिक्वेस्ट दैट प्लीज इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो डू सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर इट टू योर कलीग्स ओके इट विल गिव अ सपोर्ट टू मी ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव टू वर्ड आवर टॉपिक एंड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज नेचुरल नंबर एंड इंटीजर्स ओके सो वॉट इज नेचुरल नंबर तो नेचुरल नंबर इज बेसिकली ऑल द पॉजिटिव नंबर ऑल द पॉजिटिव डिस्क्रीट नंबर ओके डिस्क्रीट नंबर और से ऑल काउंटिंग नंबर विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री फोर एंड सेवन ओके तो All these numbers are natural numbers. Okay. Now, in our course, we include zero to in the natural number. Okay. We include zero to in our natural number. We denote the natural number by symbol n. Okay. So n is basically the natural number which includes zero and all. Okay. In general. when we include zero plus natural number zero plus natural number we say whole number whole number okay but in our course we include zero in natural numbers okay now let's talk about integers okay so in integers basically with the positive numbers and zero all the negative numbers also get included okay so you can see there that these are the natural numbers but when we include all the negative numbers in it 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 become integer okay and it is denoted by z okay so the integers are denoted by z okay denoted by z cool now let's move toward the next topic that is the arithmetic operations okay arithmetic operations now we know about the numbers so the, there are several operations which we can perform these are the basic operation you are learning from the kid that addition basically 5 plus 2 is 7 2 plus 2 is 4 this is addition okay same subtraction 9 minus 4 is 5 4 minus 3 is 1 okay same we have multiplication okay that is 3 into 4 is 12 multiplication is nothing but 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 okay for 3 into 4 matlab means adding 4 times 3 okay that is 12 okay same divide divide division okay 18 divided by 3 is 6 okay so these are the basic arithmetic operation okay now let's move to our next topic that is modulo and factors okay now here many times people get confused this is the very important topic okay you are uh, going to use this thing in python and all okay when you go further in the course okay so modulo is basically what when we divide okay when we divide like this is the 10 divided by 3 then the remainder which we got is the output of the module okay so when we divide 3 by 10 3 times 9 we got a remainder as 1 okay so modulo function gives us the remainder okay modulo function give us the remainder okay so modulo operator or remainder operator modulo operator we can also say it as remainder operator okay so remainder operator gives the remainder when one number is divided by another okay it is denoted by mod okay it is denoted by mod so we denote 10 mod 3 and the result will be okay here only here one is the remainder we get when we divide 10 by 3 so 10 3 is basically what one okay now let's no about the factor the factor is nothing but when we when we do modulus when we got the output as zero okay when we got 
output as 0 then we can say that a is the factor of a is a factor of p okay where p mod a is 0 if b mod a is 0 then we say that a is the factor of this p okay for the exam, uh, example or also we can say b is a multiple of a okay, b is a multiple of a uh, example 2 is a factor of 6 and 5 is a factor of 10 as we if we do 10 mod 5 we will get 0 okay because 10 is divisible by okay so this is the modulo and the factor when we get the result of the modulo as 0 then it is known as factor or we say that a is the factor of b okay now this is the main topic that is the rational number okay the number of the form p by q any number which can be written in the form p by q where q is not equal to 0 then we say that the number is a rational number okay when in when the number any number which can be written in p by q form where q is not equal to 0 is known as rational number the set of rational number are denoted by q and we denote the set of rational number by q okay using the symbol q okay the representation of rational number may not be unique for example 1 by 2 okay which is equal to 2 by 4 which is equal to 10 by 20 okay the whole these all three numbers are the same number okay all the three numbers are the same number so representation can be different okay okay so always it not be unique okay the reduced form of any rational number p by q is when p and q have no common factor okay so basically any number is any number or any rational number is in reduced form is in its reduced form when it has no other common factor okay just as we can see that here one and two okay both have no other common factor but if we consider this two and four then it has a common factor known as two okay and here also it has a common factor name as 10 2 also 5 okay so this is the reduced form of rational number and do remember that rational number is denoted by q okay now what is the greatest common divisor greatest common divisor is nothing but the scf okay scf which we are finding from the childhood okay so we can say 9 gcd of 9 and 12 is basically 3 if we find the scf of 9 and 3 how do we find the scf of 3 3 and 12 3 times 4 2 times 2 so we write 3 into 3 same 12 we write 3 into 2 into 2 and we just find out extract out the common and this is the SCF. So same thing. This is the GDC is nothing. GCD is nothing but the SCF. Okay. Same GCD of 50 and 45 is 15. Okay. GCD of 0 and Q is Q. Here 0 is the multiple of F and T. Is a same 1 and Q is 1. Here 1 is has no common factor other than itself. Okay. So now real number. Okay. All the rational number include the irrational numbers okay uh, one more thing or uh, we write rational number as in the form p y q fam okay p y q where q is not equal to zero so all the numbers which we cannot able to write in the p y q form okay all the number which we can't write in p y q form are known as irrational number irrational number if we can't write it in for p by q 
ओके सो हेयर इट्स सेइंग देख ऑल द रैशनल नंबर इंक्लूडिंग द ई रैशनल नंबर आर कॉल्ड रियल नंबर तो ऑल द रैशनल नंबर एंड ई रैशनल तो वन इज द रैशनल नंबर टू इज द रैशनल नंबर रूट थ्री ई रैशनल नंबर फोर इज रैशनल नंबर रूट फाइव इज रैशनल नंबर तो ऑल दिस थिंग आर नोन एज रियल नंबर रियल नंबर एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाई सिंबल आर ओके इट इज डिनोटेड बाई सिंबल आर रियल नंबर आर एक्सटेंड रैशनल नंबर तो बेसिकली रैशनल नंबर एक्सटेंडेड फॉर्म्स रियल नंबर ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज सेट्स ओके सेट्स तो डेफिनेशन ऑफ सेट इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ वेल डिफाइंड आइटम्स आइटम्स एनीथिंग जस्ट लाइक द कलेक्शन ऑफ वीक ओके मंडे ट्यूजडे वेडनेसडे ओके तो कलेक्शन ऑफ वेल डिफाइंड आइटम्स आर नोन एज सेट सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ कलेक्शन नोन एज सेट वी आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग दिस सिंबल फॉर सेट ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव फाइनाइट सेट एंड इन फाइनाइट सेट सो द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फाइनाइट सेट कैन बी द सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर लेस देन टेन सो नेचुरल नंबर लेस देन टेन इज बेसिकली वॉट फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन टू थ्री अप टू अपू अप टू नाइन बिकॉज इट्स सेइंग लेस देन टेन ओके सेम द सेट ऑफ ऑल मंथ्स इन अयर ओके दीज आर द ऑल मंथ्स इन द ईयर दिस इज ऑल्सो फाइनाइट ओके द सेट ऑफ ऑल वीक्स एज आई सेट ओके सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फाइनाइट सेट्स ओके एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट इनफाइनाइट सेट तो दिस इज द इनफाइनाइट सेट तो एन एन मीन्स ऑल ऑल नेचुरल नंबर एंड जेड जेड मीन्स ऑल द इंटीजर सो बोथ आर द इनफाइनाइट सेट्स ओके नाउ आइटम्स इन ए सेट्स आर कॉल एलिमेंट सो दीज आर द आइटम्स ओके सो आइटम ऑफ द सेट इज नोन एज एलिमेंट ओके इन द सेट ऑर्डर इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो एज वी कैन इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट वी राइट वन टू थ्री फोर अप टू अप टू नाइन ओके वी कैन राइट इट एट जीरो थ्री टू वन सिक्स सेवन ओके अप टू अप टू टू तो ऑर्डर रियली डजेंट मैटर इन द सेट ओके डुप्लीकेट्स इन अ सेट डज नॉट मैटर ऑल्सो इन अ सेट इट कैन होल्ड डुप्लीकेट वैल्यू एज ए जीरो थ्री थ्री टू वन टू ओके तो इट कैन होल्ड द डुप्लीकेट वैल्यू एज ए आर थ्री थ्री टू एन टू ओके नाउ वट इज द कार्डिनेलिटी ओके कार्डिनेलिटी ऑफ सेट तो कार्डिनेलिटी ऑफ सेट इज नथिंग बट द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन अ सेट ओके नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन अ सेट लेट से वी टॉक अबाउट द सेट ऑफ वीक्स ओके सेट ऑफ वीक्स तो वी नो दैट वी हैव सेवन डेज सेट ऑफ डेज ऑफ वीक्स ओके सो वी नो दैट द दिस सेट हैज सेवन डेज ओके सो द कार्डिनेलिटी ऑफ दिस वीक सेट इज बेसिकली सेवन ओके सेम हेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज अ सेट विच हैज नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके तो इट हैज सिक्स एलिमेंट्स इन इट तो तो द कार्डिनेलिटी ऑफ दिस सेट इज बेसिकली सिक्स सेम ए इज अ सेट ऑफ द आई गेस नेम्स और समथिंग श्रीकांत कीर्थना बलून सेलफोन एंड समथिंग इट इज इट्स बेसिकली द कलेक्शन ऑफ आइटम सो वी कैन सी दैट देर आर फाइव एलिमेंट्स इन द सेट ओके वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सो कैंडिडाइट ऑफ दिस सेट इज बेसिकली फाइव ओके नाउ एस टू मूव वर्ड सबसेट एट प्रॉपर सबसेट ओके तो वॉट इज द सबसेट ए सेट एक्स इज सेट इज ए सबसेट ऑफ अनदर सेट वाई ओके एनी सेट एक्स इज अ सबसेट ऑफ अनदर सेट y okay if every element in x is also an element in y let's say a set here as given set is 1 comma 2 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 comma 300 okay this is the set x and here is the set y which has 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 comma 40 comma 170 comma 300 okay so we can see that all the elements in this set okay 
is available in this set so one is here two is here five is here seven is here nine is here and also 300 is here okay so every element every element in x is also in y okay or every element of x is also in y so we can say that x is a subset of y x is a subset of y okay and also we can represent this in the short form as x subset of y okay this symbol means the subset okay subset cool there are more example this is also remember this if we, when we are saying about the subset so n is the subset of z n is what n is the natural number z is the integer okay so natural number is the set of mm, subset of integers as in, in integer it contains all natural numbers okay you remember that all negative and positive numbers okay same z is a subset of q q is what rational number and z is what integer okay same okay q is a subset of r q is basically what rational number r is basically real numbers okay so now let's move further proper subset a set x is a proper subset of another set y if x is a subset of y but x not equals to okay so basically uh a x a set x will be a proper subset of a set y if it is already a subset of y okay so x is already a subset of y but the condition is x is not equal to y okay x is not equal to y here we can see that x is a subset that has these all the atoms 1 2 5 7 9 and 300 okay and same we have y subset that is 0 1 2 5 7 9 40 170 and 300 okay 300 so we can see that all the elements are in all the elements of x are in y so we can say that it is a subset of x is the subset of y and we can also see that the number of elements in x is not equal to number of elements in y so we can say that x is a proper subset of y and we represent this by using the symbol x is a subset of y okay this symbol means this is a proper subset proper. okay proper subset now uh, you can see here x has four elements y has four elements okay so x is equals to y and not all, uh, and you can see that uh, every element of x is in y so x is equals to y so we can say that x equals to y so we can say that it is not a proper subset okay as you can see 4 is here also 4 is also here 16 is also here 16 is also here 32 is also here 32 is also here 64 is also here 64 is also here and order doesn't matter in sets so both the set are equal hai na? both the set are equal so we can say that this is not a proper sub subset okay not a proper subset okay thank you guys if you like the video please share and subscribe okay. thank you